once we get into that mid-July and later time period, we can start seeing powdery mildew in a lot of our lilac plantings. Uh, when we're looking inside that canopy, it's always going to start really deeper in the canopy where it's shaded. This is a disease that really likes shaded conditions. So a lot, just like you see powdery mildew in your lawns, uh, many times even late spring in that area behind the house or somewhere where you have lots of shade under a big tree, that's the same with powdery mildew on lilac. We'll see this usually in those shaded areas first and then it'll start coming out. And once those light level conditions start dropping, when we get past that summer solstice time, then we start getting into fall when we get lower levels of light. Again, that's a time period when we start seeing more mildew. So many times, uh, you know, many of our viewers will, will have a lilac bush that may be completely covered with this powdery type dusty appearance like we see on this one, or where it looks like you almost took baby powder and just sprinkled it over the bush. Now, as far as damage and control on something like this, powdery mildew is not a disease that's really going to kill the lilac bush, for example. It's going to be fine. Uh, it's just really going to be an aesthetic thing. So some things you can do culturally to try to manage powdery mildew, we can do some overhead irrigations. This is one time I'll tell you to water overhead. As mildews, and a lot of times with our powdery mildews, they don't like to be wet and, and pure wet like many of our other fungal diseases do. So just simply on a, on a lilac bush, redirecting that sprinkler and actually spraying over it can help. And the other thing we can do uh, is look at some canopy thinning. Uh, as well just to prune out those areas where we've got a lot of mildew affected. This is a disease too that's going to overwinter locally so residue management can be helpful. And then finally uh, as a last option you could look at fungicides but really I, I don't really recommend a fungicide for powdery mildew on lilac uh, because in general it's not that severe. Maybe if you've got a younger shrub that you're a bush that you're planting uh, that you're just getting established and you see in this problem if it's a real heavy older landscape where it's under a tree and you see a lot of it at an early stage, you might look at control. But in general, if we've got a large planting like we have here and we have some powdery mildew coming in at the lower portion of the canopy, we really don't need to worry too much about managing that problem. So really just uh, try to, to do what you can with sanitation, do what you can with that overhead irrigation. Those would be my main management uh, points for powdery mildew and look forward to those flowers next spring.